okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video so this video is going to be again based on json but we are going to learn how can we create a json using a sql statement okay so that's quite interesting right so today i have come across this scalar function called json object okay json underscore object so using this inbuilt json underscore object uh, method okay which is a sql scalar function okay so using this we are going to create the json out of the box so let's see uh, the syntax is very simple so it takes uh, json underscore object is actually the function uh, it takes uh, arguments so here we can have a key space key name value space value name okay uh, this key is actually even optional okay even if you give the uh, without this key uh, keyword then it will still work i'll just show you in action okay so i'm just going to log into the pub 400 thing okay uh, to demonstrate that right what i'm going to do i'm going to stsql uh, the syntax is simple so we have something like values okay values can be used to uh, to 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 evaluate expression say for example i can say current timestamp then i'll see the current timestamp value so if you are familiar right uh, we can have the current timestamp uh, which will give us the current timestamp we will use it for inserting into the database those steps we can put values in front of it to see the see the values also okay so that's what here happened so this is the json which is producing and we, we are able to see it using the values one but in our str sql we cannot see see it quite uh, clearly uh, let me show it okay so before that so json underscore object okay so this scalar function is not available in all the versions i think when only from v7 r1 is available okay we uh, you can check on that okay so okay so json object is a function which check takes the first argument is key so i'm telling name is my key and then value then the value name okay so this is the uh, total function which, will, which is going to create the json so what i'm going to do here so i'm going to say here values okay if you press enter right what you will see it's just a pointer okay because uh, this str sql uh, cannot uh, display the json uh, object or the data so uh, to see at least something okay what i'm going to do i'm going to cover the whole thing with the character function okay character of the whole thing but the point is since it's a pointer we cannot convert the everything into a character okay it will show an error result is too long so what i am going to say i'm going to say here comma uh, 100 so just try to convert the first 100 length okay so if you see the result came but it is not uh, decent looking enough but the point is the json uh, conversion is already happened okay just because our str sql screen we are not able to see it so how can we see this okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, save this into a file maybe a q temp okay now this file a q temp is having a json so what i'm going to do for viewing that json i'm going to convert that to a ifs path okay so copy to impf a q temp so i'm going to say here like home json dot txt okay so these are simple options so here i'm going to say crlf my end of line it's not delimited it's a fixed length okay okay so it's completed so now if you go and see work link home json we should be able to see json txt and you can see the name and value came okay so this tells that using the json underscore object scalar function we are able to get the conversion so uh, yeah so we got this right so now how do we do that if we are having a data in in a pf okay simple so now let's see select star from i have a file called ordmst okay which will have some data okay assume i want to create a json out of this particular item okay so where my item number equal to sorry order number equal to say for example 101 okay so how do we do that so these three things we are going to take okay it's very simple only so let me take select those three uh, one two three okay so now we are just going to pass these as a value simple okay so json underscore object and the key is order number 
and value is this thing okay and let it be and uh, maybe I can bring this down yeah so here after a comma I am saying uh, insert okay this is what order id and value is this one okay and then here the key is what is that uh, order name and value is this one so we can even get the value from the pf itself okay see so here we create the json object so just to view it i am going to convert them to a character and then here say comma 100 okay now you see the order number order id things came okay even if i do the same stuff i mean if i just convert that to a pf okay so let it be the a1 and after that I'll go and then again convert that into a IFS path. Then I should be able to see that. Okay, here is the thing circuit. So this is the basic uh, conversion. Okay, which is uh, the basic JSON conversion uh, using the JSON underscore object method. Okay, so you can uh, read the more about that in the link. I'll give the link in the description, uh, which is the IBM I link. Uh, from the knowledge center basically so it gives a detailed explanation maybe in a future video i'll cover how do we create nested objects how do we uh, create a json array using a json array function okay so these are functions so last time we have seen how do we create json using oajl right so that was kind of easier one but still this one is really amazing and since it's out of the box side, we don't need to install any third party package or library like that. So, okay, uh, we can just use this inside our SQL RPG LA and the output, whatever we are getting, we can just uh, either send it as a web service response or we can put the data into a data queue or MQ, so and so stuff. So, that's it for this video. I just want to uh, share this information with you guys because I just came across this uh, JSON object scalar function and I find it really useful and then interesting. Okay, so I hope you find the same you would have find the same thing uh, let me see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching